for one of the heroes of this Sri Lankan team, Aravinda Da Silva. Warm welcome as he came out into the ground, but uh, you get the feeling that it's not quite... No, not while Aravinda plays shots like that. Fabulous, just short of the length, over the top, six. That is absolutely the best of Aravinda Da Silva. He played an innings in England last summer in the Benson Hedges Cup final when he gave the Lancashire bowlers some terrific hammer. And one of the features was these short of the length deliveries that he picked up and pulled away. Up in there that time, just clear as well, and it's through for four. And this is phenomenal stuff. But that bit of fielding from Charlie Lock, I mean, technically it's a catch, but... And it looked like he caught it, but just as his shoulders and body hit the ground, it just shook it out. Into the stand for six. Lovely looking shot. Vintage to Silva. That's his shot of the match. That's the perfect cover drive, perfect example for any youngster. Watching, loves this game. Up right on top of the ball. He's moved across. I've only just see that. Perfectly played between the gap of four. And while the silver's going like this, so uh, evenly distributed. The silver getting the lion's share early on. And now Gurusina taking out the challenge. Silver on 46. He's got that away, and that could well be his half century. Indeed it is. Wonderful, wonderful back. And that's a superb 50 by Rinder. And the glass shows that wasn't a bad ball. There's a good length delivery. This fell up to him. He improvised his strokes. Just went back on that delivery. Look at that. Switching perfect length. It's carnival cricket out there. And we're going to have a third umpire decision from square leg. But we think that the umpire at the bowler's end has turned down the LBW appeal. Mahmoud and Shah and the umpire at square leg, Steve Dunn. Have a look at this for a sharp bit of work by Andy Plow. Well, that's going to need a second replay, I think. We've got a... Well, I reckon there's enough doubt there for the umpire to be able to say not out myself. If there's benefit of the doubt... Yes, I think the umpire did agree with you, Mark. <laughs> Certainly there was a lot of doubt there, and uh, the batsman, De Silva, getting the benefit of that. The Sri Lankans have imposed themselves upon Zimbabwe. They threatened to do it so often in Australia, and managed to on occasions in the recent triangular tournament there, when they performed very creditably. And look at that. It's a wonderful shot. Six more. This time from Aravinda De Silva, making... Enough room there to get his arms at the ball, getting down the pitch with his feet. And really lovely timing over wide long on. Great striker at the ball. This is a coming down the wicket, playing that right over the long on boundary. Deserve it. Well, that's very nicely cut. Shot ball giving a lot of room. Straight to Arvinda De Silva goes back and plays it with so much of poise and elegance. The back to point for four runs. Well, 87, the Devils number, not wearing arrow into the silver. Right over the top of it. Great placement once it's again. Ah! Well, that's uh, Jotel in today. I remember the silver wanting to play across the line. The ball angled into him. And the declared leg before by umpire Steve Dunn. Yes, with absolutely plumb. Be interesting to see on the replay if that's the way it also looks but from where we are, just to the onside of the wicket. Looked as though it was coming in there of into the silver was well pitched up. But a great innings by him, a standing ovation. He's one of their heroes here. Street coming back after a couple of bad deliveries, hit on the back leg. There was a certain amount of drift in it, but umpire done not hesitating too long there. And the end of Aravinda the Silver, an excellent innings, 209 for four.